Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rukah Kadash, the bounce of the apostles, the bounce of the elders, the green millstone, rule well, and tells his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, as preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle of David, hopefully, like him, speckle bird, I want to say shalom. Now, I just want to get into this uh, quick lesson. All right, because uh, when you come into this truth, you have to understand what you're coming into. This ain't for no uh, weak, no sissified, no sissified man. You got to count the cost. Matter of fact, the Lord told Job, hey, gird up thy loins like a man. Okay, because this, this is a battle. Matter of fact, the scriptures speak of we, we fighting principalities, man. Fighting these spirits out here. A lot of these people got damn demons on them, man. So anyways, getting back to the lesson. Talking to one of the brothers at the camp. And, um, you know, pretty much the conversation was him and one of his uh, family members. And he was pretty much telling them, hey, you know, all that stuff you have, all those blessings that you're getting, give glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Give glory unto the Lord. So apparently, with the brother saying that unto him, unto his uh, family member, that got uh, <laughs> that got his family member all up in a bunch. His panties in a bunch, like you. All right? Panties in a bunch. He, he does not want to give glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim El Shai. He doesn't want to give glory unto the Lord. You know? So, you know, you are, uh, hey, you're going to be in a pitiful, pitiful case, man. It's not going to be pretty for you, man. All right. And that's pretty much, you know, the brother already knows. But that's pretty much what we're telling him as well. You know, also, Lord willing, I can have the scripture as well. Your real family members, your real brothers, your real sisters are those that are in this walk as we'll get. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this real quick. Matthew 10 and verse 34. They not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, a sword of division. And also when he comes back, he's cutting a lot of you niggas down, man. That's going to be the two thirds and you heathens as well. <laughs> It ain't gonna ain't gonna be ain't gonna be part no party for the wicked in that day. All right, and most likely his family member is of the two thirds, and he he's gonna have to learn the hard way. You know, I told the brother, if I'm not mistaken, I told him, you know, he gonna be wishing they took heed that he was on your side, that he was on this side, because he might see you with that spiritual power. All right, the Lord taking care of you, blessing you. All right, because the Lord deals with balance. Proverbs 11 and 1, roughly paraphrasing, false balance is abomination unto Yahweh their power, but a just way to his is his delight. All right, the Lord deals with balance. So you're on high, you're doing good now. The table's going to be reversed. All right, and you might end up eating your own children or having to see them be uh, put to death or whatever, man. Lord, don't play. The Lord is not a respecter of persons. I see Luke 8 and verse 19. Then came to him, his mother and his brother. All right. They were pretty much looking for Yahweh and could not come at him for the press. And it was told him by a certain which said, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to see thee. Check this. This is what Yahweh Shai said. And this is him at a young age with that wisdom, man. You know, goes to show you, you know, when the Lord wakes you up, doesn't matter how, how old you are in this walk, man. Lord gives you that wisdom, man. You know, you got a lot of these uh, pastors, a lot of these jakes in general, shoot people in the world in general, I should say, is looking down upon a brother. He might be young. But he coming with that truth. Why? Because that's the spirit of the Lord that's upon him, man. 
you know. So Yahweh Shai, he could have been a child, a young man, but he was coming with that wisdom as we read. And he said, and he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God. All right, which hear the word, and check this, and do it. Why? Because actions speak louder than word. Your actions are going to show that you have faith in this walk. All right. So your real brothers, your real sisters, your real family members are those that do, that hear this word and do it. Okay. That's making making their calling and election sure so we can get up, beamed up in them chariots and how rough as eyes will get, the, get that spiritual power. Confound our enemies. Let me get this scripture real quick. This is our Jeremiah 9 and verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. You know, it's pretty much what the brother was telling him, man. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. And that's pretty much what his family member was doing. You know, all the brother was doing, hey, give glory and honor to the Lord. But nah, he, he he got his pennies in a bunch, man. He got offended by the word. He got offended of what the brother told him, man. You know, so all the unbelieving shall die in their unbelief. Jeremiah 9 and verse 24. Here's what you should be doing. Here's what we were telling him, man. But let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth. And know of me, that I am the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahusha, which exercise in loving kindness, judgment. Okay, Jake, Jake ain't taking note of that. The Lord love it, judgment. As you read that in the book of Psalms. All right, and righteousness in the earth. For these things I delight, saith the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahusha. So blessings. And curses come from the Lord Yahweh Bashim El Shah. And Jake doesn't understand that, so he's out here worshiping himself or worshiping manna, the God of this world. And so, most likely, the brother's family member, he's going to be sent to the upper room and he's going to see how wicked he was. Jeremiah 9 and verse 25. Behold, the days come, save the Lord. Now I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Anim and Moab and all that are in the uttermost corners that dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised. See, they were not given the law, statutes and commandments. Jake was, okay? That's why you read in Amos 3 at the top. That's why we get punished. That's why we went into captivity upon captivity because niggas <laughs> that, uh, uh, that I'm doing the lesson on now, man. They didn't want to give the Lord no glory, no honor. Want to serve these other guys a wooden stone. All the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. So those... They're supposed to be circumcised. They move in uncircumcised. The uncircumcised in the heart. And so thus, you're gonna get you're gonna get judgment with these damn heathens, man. You're gonna die a heathen's death. You're not gonna die an honorable death. It's gonna be a dishonorable death. Hebrews 4 and verse 12. For the word of power is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even div dividing sunder of soul and spirit, and the joints and the marrows, and is discerning of the thoughts and the tents of the heart. So the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shah cuts you, man, and that's a good thing. A lot of us, when we first came into this walk, we got cut, and that's good. But the two-thirds, when they get cut, they get all emotional. Lord ain't dealing with that emotion, man. Okay? A man is supposed to be dealing with logic, knowledge, with the spirit. 
Jake out here moving carnally, emotionally. <laughs> he all out of order, man. All right, so it's being exposed, you know, because I don't know if I said this or not. You know, his family member wanted to put the poles on him, man. Come on, man, just for just for your just for uh your family member to tell you, just to give glory unto the Lord. You want to put poles on him, you know. Goes to show you, you know, you know, the servant is not above his master, man. You know, we we have no honor. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get there real quick. You know, but Jake Jake is gonna learn the hard way. Mark six and verse four. But Yahweh shall send it to them. A prophet is not without honor, but in in his own country, and among his own kin, in his own house. You see that? <sighs> Amongst his kin. Okay. According to uh this lesson right now, that will be his kin. And they want to put the paws on the man. <laughs> You know, it's nothing new under the sun. Jake wanted to hear that smooth, buttery words. He wanted to hear it get that money, money, money. He wanted to live like Mr. Krabs, man. <laughs> all right. But, hey, the Lord about to put a put a stop to all that. All right. So the prophet has no honor with these people, man. But it, but it's all good. It's all good because the Lord's only dealing with the elect. Verse five, and he could there, it's Yahweh Shah, and he could there do no mighty work, say that he laid his hand upon a few sick folk and healed them, and he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went round about the villages teaching, you know, so you know Yahweh Shah didn't do all these mighty works because their unbelief was so great. I mean, it was like man, forget these, forget these dudes. But you can equate that to this time when the men of the Lord get that spiritual power. Jake ain't going to be getting that healing, man. You know, you're going to be having all types of plagues, destruction out here. People going to be seeking refuge, going to be seeking answers, and they're not going to get it. They're going to be left in the dust. You know, when the time of Yahweh Shai healing the maim, you know, going, hey, don't be surprised, you know. See a lot of these people out here missing <laughs> arms and legs and whatever, and and they they try to you know you might might heal them you might not man but a lot of these people are gonna be left out here dry looking stupid because y'all y'all's unbelief. My fuck, I'm gonna get this real quick in our second Ezra's. Let's get that real quick. Let's see. Highlight a little bit. Slot like it. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna just. Uh, I'm gonna just start right there. Second Ezra nine and verse seven. Every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. And by faith. And Jake has no faith. Scriptures speak of in the book of Psalms. A fool save in his heart that there is no God. My brother's family member. Alright. He's moving like Esau Edom. Want to give praises and glory unto himself. You know. Saying that your actions say. That you don't believe in the Lord. But it's all good man. The Lord going to set that straight. Whereby ye have believed. And we just read in um in the book of Mark that the Lord couldn't do any mighty works because their unbelief was so great. So equate this to this scripture, man. Since y'all don't want to believe, y'all not gonna be delivered. As we read, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land. And within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. You see, the elect has been called since the beginning, man. Since the foundation of the earth, man. Nobody knows who's the elect, but you're going to be moving like the elect. You know, you can't be moving in that uh, pride, boastful spirit. That's why we say, 
Yahweh desire, Lord willing. You know, Lord willing. But we have a greater chance of making it, getting that spiritual power than these, <laughs> in these damn two thirds, all right? You know? Then shall they be in pitiful case. So, my brother's uh, family member, his kin, is going to be in pitiful case, most likely. Which have now abused my ways, all right? Because the Lord sent a prophet out there. You know how right this eye he's one and all? To warn you and to try to correct you, try to show you, hey, man, give, give glory unto the Lord, man. But you didn't want to do that. You want to you wanna try to put pause on the brother, man. You want to talk all that smack. So you're going to be in pitiful case. You in your household, most likely. Which have now abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You see that? You're going to dwell in torments. They shall see death and shall not find it. As you read in the scriptures in our Revelation 9, if I'm not mistaken. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. You see that? You got these benefits. You got these blessings. But you don't want to give the Lord no honor. And they that have loathed my law while they have yet liberty. And when yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. What's going to happen to them? The same must know it at the death by pain. See, you're going to be sent to the upper room and it's not going to be a peaceful, peaceful death, man. It's going to be torment. And check this. And therefore, be thou now curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when, but inquire, this is what you should be doing. Inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and whom, for whom the world is created. Inquire how the righteous is going to be saved. And the Lord sent a brother, Yahweh Desire, he's one of those prophets, to warn you how you can be saved, to warn you, to give you, to give the Lord his honor, man. All right? To make your calling lecture sure, but you didn't want to listen. So, most likely, that Jake is going to be in a pitiful case, man. It's not going to be pretty for him, man. All right? But uh yeah, that, that pretty much that's pretty much a point, man. You know, I had some more, but you know, <laughs> that pretty much drives in the point. So Yahweh right design this edifying lesson. Wanna give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah Bashim Kargadash and Wa Ababa Shalom.